Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about why you need to upgrade to Windows 11 now rather than later, as we only have almost a year before Windows 10 reaches the end of support. So in this video, we're going to have a discussion. We're going to talk about why it is better to upgrade earlier to Windows 11 and what it can do in the case that you don't have a compatible computer and so on. So in this video, we're going to have this discussion. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. First of all, for those of you who don't know, and maybe Windows 10 users, Windows 10 will reach the end of support in October 14, 2025. This means that Windows 11 will no longer receive security updates and Microsoft will no longer provide Windows 10 technical support. Why is this important? Well, this is basically the wall that keeps hackers and malware outside of Windows 10. Of course, we've had instances where certain malware created, especially to bypass certain security software or even Windows Defense. Under Windows 10 was created, but without security updates and also technical support, Windows 10 is basically dead. For those of you who have used Windows for a few years, you know that when Windows 10 or even Windows XP reached the end of support, the amount of malware and viruses, trojans and so on created especially for those operating systems was extremely high. But of course, in this video, we're talking about the fact that in October, Windows 10 will reach the end of support. We still have a few months, but in my opinion, and also I've seen IT techs recommend this, you should upgrade to Windows 11 as soon as you can. The last few months before reaching the end of support for Windows 10 will be crucial because, of course, hackers and malware will be created especially for Windows 10, so Windows 10 won't be as secure as before and it will keep getting less and less secure as the months pass by. Whenever we're talking about upgrading to Windows 11, we have a few types of people. So we have the people that have a compatible computer with Windows 11 but don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 or they have upgraded before and they didn't like it, they went back to Windows 10 because they were used to it. Of course, I cannot blame them. I myself was in that situation when I first upgraded to Windows 11. It was a new operating system. A lot of settings were out of place, at least at first. I struggled finding the options. I struggled using the new context menu, maybe the new file explorer. But with time, I've gotten used to it and I think it's way better than Windows 10 right now. So if you have a Windows 11 compatible computer and you're on Windows 10, I strongly recommend you upgrade to Windows 11 today. All you need to do is to go into settings, check for updates. It is the same process in Windows 10 and you should get Windows 11 directly here and you should be able to install it. Now going on to the next category of people, people who cannot upgrade to Windows 11 because they don't have a compatible computer. And um, yeah, as you know, Windows 11 has some strict system requirements, especially on the processor side. And you also need TPM 2.0 and secure boot on the motherboard. But you can check out an article that I've done and also a video if you want how to install Windows 11 on on supported PC. Of course, this is created for Windows 11 24H2, but it works for 23H2 as well, because these two are the latest versions of Windows 11, which are still getting security updates and technical support. And you can use this article to install Windows 11 on a incompatible computer. You can either use Rufus or directly from the installation process. We're going to be able to quickly change a few things inside registry so that Windows 11 will no longer require TPM 2.0 and secure But And there is also a third category of people that have such old PCs that even these bypass methods won't work on them. So in that case, there's also an option for you that I've talked about, and that is the extended security updates program for Windows 10, which will basically require you to pay a price. It's not gonna be a high price per year to still get security updates for another 12 month period. And I think that is also a thing that you should consider. I think companies and enterprises that don't want to upgrade all their computers, maybe will use this program, but of course, this is only a delay of the inevitable, which is basically Windows 10 reaching the end of support. And sooner rather than later, you're going to still have to upgrade your computer and upgrade to Windows 11. So I'm really looking forward to seeing in which category are you in right now? Do you have a compatible Windows 11 computer and you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11? I'm really curious what will be the motives for that. Or you have a computer that has a older motherboard, which doesn't have TPN 2.0 or secure, but have you tried to use the bypass? past methods. I think those are pretty safe because you're still getting security updates, which are the most important updates in Windows 11. Also, I'm curious to see how many of you have old PCs that don't even have the minimum processor requirement or anything like that. In the article below, of course, you're going to have more information about this topic if you're interested. But this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.